Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Zo. And Lex. And we just like to start off by saying we apologize because we know it's probably been, well, we know it's been over a month, month and a half since we posted our last video. And the reason for that is, it, it's a good reason why we've, <laughs> it's been so long since we uh, posted our last video. We um, decided to start buying and reselling pallets. Yes. So, this is a little glimpse of what we've been into and, and like all that right there rugs everything every so when we mean by pallets um we buy pallets uh with merchandise on them obviously and what that merchandise consists of is overstocked or shelf pulls from target and what we do with that stuff obviously we buy it in bulk and we resell it and we have probably sold what Probably, or not so, we bought them probably about what, seven? Yeah. Seven yeah. pallets so far. And needless to say, obviously, if we've bought seven so far within the last month and a half, it's doing pretty um, pretty well for us. So we just kind of take you on a tour of what we've been up to and just show you all the things that we have gotten and what we're going to be selling here. So we still have this right here. I'm selling for 35 a pop. These guys our uh, indoor outdoor uh, furniture and like I said I have four of those retailing at 80 bucks I believe and here we have a end table well a corner end table like I said brand new brand new I put this one together because we've had this one for about a week and a half two weeks I should say two we have two of them right there I've had it for about a week and a half two weeks and it's not selling we have found that if we put the furniture together that it sells pretty fast so this one was pretty easy all I had to do was just screw these in and that was it so I just put it together about 20 minutes ago you guys I just want to talk to you really quick um, before we get into this next clip I just kind of want to explain everything um, really fast as well so we actually ended up cutting that garage sale short and postponing it to the next day um, the reason for that is because we had a hiccup with Facebook on uh, Facebook marketplace and for some reason it was saying that um, our post wasn't posted so no one saw our our listing for the garage sale and so we didn't have many people come out to our garage sale don't get me wrong we still put out garage sale signs um, by our house in our neighborhood and everything but it just wasn't enough honestly a lot of our traffic that we get um, does generate from marketplace so it's very crucial that we post on there to get the word out because um, that's free advertising of course so this one would be like a fourth or fifth garage sale and the ones that we've had before we have gotten we were able to post a um, market we were able to post an ad in marketplace and we were able to get like I think like the first or second time we ever done it it was we probably gotten close to 2,000 views. Um, Grant, we did post that one about three or four days before we had our garage sale. So we had a lot of views, a lot of people come out before we actually um, had the sale and people came over and 
bought a lot of our stuff before we were able to have our sale. Um, anyway, we had to cut the garage just short. There was a hiccup with Marketplace. Got that figured out and we was able to post it again that day and have another one the next day like I said. Once we did that, um, after a couple hours we checked it again and we saw that we were getting views and that it actually worked this time. We don't know what happened. On Sunday, we had another garage sale and it boomed. Uh -oh. It was, I mean, it was pretty slow in the beginning, probably around 11.30ish it uh, picked up. I'm sorry, I didn't, um, I did record it, I totally forgot. Um, I was actually kind of upset that we didn't make any money the day before because we have gotten two shipments, I believe in, or something like that, one or two pallets in, and I was just really anxious to go ahead and sell that stuff so we can go ahead and get more. I said we had a pretty good day on Sunday, and so we were able to pick up another pallet um, the next day on Monday. Um, I'm actually gonna go get a pallet here pretty soon within the next day or so. Today is Tuesday, and I'm not gonna forget to bring you guys with because the last three times of when I'm it literally slipped my mind, and I'm like, Arr! so I'm literally gonna like throw the camera in the car before I go anywhere anymore. So there's not so many. We can't have t um, so many garage sales. Obviously, there's like a there's like a limit that you can have on how many garage sales you can have. And we're probably reaching that limit. So Alex and I have done. We have started like this new little thing where we have created like a a private um, garage sale. So like a just an enclosed private garage sale type thing where basically you message us. So we post our pictures and you message us to see um, when is a good time for us and when is a good time for you to come and stop by and kind of check us out and shop around a little bit. And so in this next clip, I'm going to bring you guys down, um, I'm going to bring you guys into the uh, garage and let you see what we have set up. Like I said, we have buying one or two pallets, yeah, one or two pallets since you guys, um, we bought a one or two pallets since the last time. So we're just going to bring you guys downstairs, kind of show you everything. I also redid the garage so i rearranged everything looks a little bit different yeah like i said i'm gonna bring you guys downstairs and we're gonna gotta look at everything i'm gonna go check out a bunch of things so we actually got another pallet in as well so we we're able to restock everything nice little crock pot as well one thing i kind of like want to stress is Obviously everything in the pallets, um, it, most of it is brand new. Um, a lot of it is shelf pulls and a lot, uh, some of it like a mixture of like returns as well. And this right here was a return. And unfortunately, let's see if I can find it. And unfortunately when someone returned this, um, they broke it. I don't know if you can see them but yeah they broke that piece right there or they cut the wire on that part so that's a bummer we can't sell that anymore oh that suck we took it L on that unfortunately look at this by the way oh that is kind of cool so this is this is what Alex is talking about. Lamp. What is it? 80, 90 dollar lamp? 90 dollar yeah. lamp that we're selling for 55. Maybe we'll let it go for 50. You know what I mean? And let me take you guys over here. So this is part of the one of the last couple pallets that we have bought is this right here. This is a 160 dollar chair that we're selling for 70. Um, this is the last of the rugs that we have. We've had about seven, eight rugs. So far, I'm talking in total. And that's just like a little storage bin. So yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of update. So anyway, back to what I was saying. We didn't um, necessarily have a good garage sale day. Actually, we kind of cut it short on that day that we took that video. And we posted it again figure out what was wrong and we were able to post it on marketplace that night and we had another one the next day 
and what would you say it was fairly steady. Yeah, it was it, it was steady. Um, to say at least looks like, right here, where <laughs> we're organizing everything. Like I said, we just got in the last like four days, four or five days, we've gotten three pallets. <laughs> We bought three pallets in the last like four or five days, so we're organizing everything still. But anyway, we were able to make about a little over four hundred dollars at our in our yeah at our last garage sale in a day. And we've only we've had how many garage sales? Four. Yeah. We've had four garage sales, and three out of the four because one of them was just it was I think it was our first one and it was just it wasn't that good. But yeah, the three out of our um, four garage sales that we have hosted, um, we've made about four to five hundred dollars. Actually, our two times ago, right? Two times ago, we made it was like seven hundred dollars, seven eight hundred dollars. It was a really good day. Um, but we know that there's rules and regulations on what you can do in terms of how many garage sales you can have. So we're kind of mixing things up and we're doing something different and creative I guess you can say and what we're doing is we're still hosting garage sales but what we're doing is having people come and basically it's like a RSVP kind of thing where you kind of say hey I'm interested can I set up a time to come look private. so yeah private garage sales something that we're mixing up also too we're looking to make a Facebook page that's dedicated just around our store basically and we're in a mix right now of possibly, I haven't talked to Lex about this, but possibly making another channel, a second channel. So we'll have our palette channel and we'll have our just our regular channel where Lex and I do like pranks and show you guys the food that we like to cook and our little quirky family that we have. So we might be in the mix of doing something like that. But we are most likely going to get another pallet here in a few days if not sooner than that um like i said we've been doing this for a couple months and as we get further and further in this lex and i find ourselves buying or needing to buy more pallets every couple of days or so and like i said i mean it's something that i've been seeing all over on facebook and uh, youtube and everything and i just kind of wanted to try it and it started off just being something like yeah, we're totally just going to do it just to make extra money. And it's turning out to be something <laughs> that could be an actual job, for say. So, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll keep you guys updated about what we're going to do next. I know I haven't done a great job about that. But like I said, we kind of wanted to get our feet wet. And kind of to make sure that what we're doing is what we want to do. It's fun and it's profitable. So, next time we go out and buy more pallets... There's a baby. <laughs> Next time we go out and grab pallets, um, I'm not gonna forget to bring you guys with because I've been get, forgetting like the last like what? Yeah. Three or four <laughs> times. Yeah, keep I keep forgetting, but I'm not gonna forget this time. And I want you guys to see what the process looks like, what we see, and what we what we do, and what we think of. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a process. It's a process, yeah. and <laughs> it's kind of weird. A lot of people. We're a still lot of figuring it out too. No, oh yeah, 100%. And a lot of people know about what we do, and I mean it's interesting to a lot of people. You know what it I mean? It is. So I mean, I it's guess different. this it will be like oh. a learning curve for a lot of us, and hopefully, kind of teach you guys along the way as well, as we're still learning about all of this. But hopefully, guys, give you guys some insight and some knowledge about how to do this if you're interested in starting something like this up. Um, Definitely, you know what I mean? So, like I said, we'll catch you guys next time. And, shit, anything else? Nope. Bye.